law that no injured that that no that no standing is given to one who is not injured. Since when can an uninjured party bring a claim against somebody? Okay. Absolutely, bring that up in a filing with the court. I would challenge that. Absolutely, I would. Wow, well, that's, that's 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 good. So, okay, um, I I was going to challenge jurisdiction, but. Uh, you, you can only challenge the jurisdiction of the party bringing you into court. Again, I've covered that, I think, a few times tonight. You cannot right, challenge the right. court's no, jurisdiction. Right, I know that, but, yeah. but it's like, so you don't even get into, well, I mean, in other court cases, I've heard person, people challenge <clears throat> standing and in personam and um, other jurisdictions. The conference is scheduled to be broken down automatically in five minutes. To extend the time by 60 minutes, press star 8. I can't do that because I don't have a dial pad to press star 8. Cause That's I've okay. Got my... It's getting close to after 12.30 where I live at night, too. So. Okay, yeah, we're in four hours into this call. Is that yep. it for you, Nancy? We'll try to get one more person in. Well, I wanted what? to, there was one more one more point about that. Is uh, I can certainly do the affidavit. I can certainly do the um, Ask the, you know, to, to dismiss because there's no motion to dismiss. Don't ask. Right. Motion. Right. No, no. Yep. Motion to dismiss. And but that's just based on on this, that single principle of no contract. No contract. I have no contract with these people where I was supposed to perform a perform. Right. That's a condition. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Shall we take one more? Sure. Hey, West Michigan, go ahead. Did you have a question? Is that you, Matt? Hi. Wait a minute. I'm trying to unmute it. My board is... West Michigan, can you hear us? Can you say something? I don't know if you're unmuted or not. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, I've clicked on the thing three times, <laughs> not unmuting. Goodness. There we go. West Michigan. Okay, now now I'm unmuted. Now you now you yeah. got me unmuted. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, one thing, if you could unmute Matt from Michigan in the chat room too, because I'm muted for the board. Otherwise, I would have tried to answer this, uh, ask the question on the on the board. I'm going to be really quick here because we don't have a lot of time. I've been in real estate for 30 years. I've never heard anything about the idea that if you've got something fee simple absolute, it removes the property taxes from the property. I've never yet met anybody who's successfully done it, so I'd like you to go ahead and do a little bit of checking on this and then go ahead and come back with a success story for us and say that I can go take a look at some kind of, give, give me the parcel number, the city, the state, wherever it's at, and show me where you're able to remove the property taxes from it. Well, you're not removing it. What are you doing is you're challenging their authority to charge you those taxes, and I've done I've done that. So okay, well, the, you, you, well, I can challenge the authority of what they're doing all day long and twice on Sunday. But are you successful when you get done? Uh, absolutely. That that I can actually categorically tell you. Yes, that is absolutely the case. And this is very simple. The state is okay. It's impossible for the state to collect taxes, which is a okay. Hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut right to the chase because yep. we're short on time. Yep. Where's the property at where you're not paying property taxes? Where's the Where's the property? What? Where is the property located that you are or somebody you know is not paying property taxes on as a result of this process? Nine of them, right here where I live, and they're all mine. They're all yours, and they're you're in mine. Canada. Yep. You're in Canada, and you are yep. not paying property taxes. I'm fighting. I'm nine. fighting every single one of them, and they have refused to try to even take me to court or answer to any of my statements against them. If they even think about uh, trying to send me their property tax bill, they're going to be in court against me, where I'm going to be suing them for harassment and every other violation of my fee schedule because I've already established with them that I own my property fee simple absolute. I sent so if they have they they're ceasing and desisting from trying to collect the taxes and it's a, it's it's a done deal it's over the fight's over. No, they're still won't. trying they're still trying to send me notices. Uh, okay. They're, they're not going to stop until I actually sue them, but they haven't tried to actually levy them against the property in any way, shape, or form. I so think it's they're, not I think done they're, yet. I think they're too worried to do that. Well, these people never stop harassing you. That's the problem. 
They never well, see, the, for me, a success story is when they when I can go and uh, relax and don't have to worry about paying property taxes on parcel A ever again. And I'm, the battle's over, and yeah. we're then what I want. Then one of the things you can do is you can if you, is your property free from all encumbrances? Are there any mortgages left on it or anything? Yeah, I'm fighting that right now. Okay, when that is done I and there's no more. Say- Dean, thank yep. you very much. They're going to cut us off any second. Oh, okay. Go ahead and finish, but I thank wanted to say thank you, and I love everybody. And Okay, well, we'll, we'll be talking again you. shortly anyways. Um, All right, great. An- Angela, unmute me from, uh, from I Michigan. Did. For, thanks, appreciate I that. D- You're welcome. Yep. When, when the property is all paid off, you can send in an affidavit to whatever you guys call your land titles office and have them remove.